what do you have to say about women or men uh, who might have trouble having an orgasm? I mean, is there is there a practice or a technique that people can begin to implement at home in some way? Or what do you say when somebody says, oh, I can't have an orgasm? Well, typically, when people are non-orgasmic, it's the sign that there's been some level of trauma okay. in their lives. And typically with sexual trauma, people tend to respond in one of two ways. They either completely shut down or they become hypersexualized. For me, because of all the sexual molestation and sexual abuse and relationships that I experienced as a child and as a teen, I had the, the hyper effect. So for me, that became, my hypersexuality became a tool of control for me. Like I can control what's happening with my body. I can control whether you get it or not. And oftentimes that was coming from a dysfunctional place because it, my mindset was I'd rather give it to you than to run the risk of you taking it by force. So one of the things that tantric healing table work does is help to break all of that up. And, you know, we learn about that in acupuncture school, all of the trauma that's held in the uh, daimai and the belt, all of that. Tantra, with, as well as acupuncture, but Tantra helps to energetically break all of that up. It I helps to... Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Finish your thought, please. It helps to get down into the root of your core at this energetic cellular level because just like skin carries memory our cells have memory as well and scientists have already proven that through uh, the traumatic stress that's passed down from generation to generation they've already proven that trauma gets passed down at the cellular level well that cellular level is the energetic of the cell yeah so tantric table work helps to clear out that toxic energy that's stuck in our cellular body and then sexual bliss becomes automatic because when we were initially created we were created as beings of bliss and so through life and situations and traumas and things that we experience and religious influence societal influence everyone trying to tell us who we should be how we should be what we should and shouldn't do and what makes a person good and bad or marriable or not we begin to shut down those parts of us so tantric energy work helps you to open all of that back up the number one goal of tantric table work energy work the number one goal is healing sexual bliss and heightened orgasmic experience in my opinion is a byproduct of that it becomes automatic once we pull back all the layers of trauma and stories that we've created about sex and about intimacy and religious dogma and we've pushed past all of the mess the only thing left is bliss our original state of being being naked and not ashamed